AI is certainly more than large language model fine tuning and training plus chatbots. Look at this tool Flux.ai which is targeting a niche where it is helping you to build printed circuit boards or PCBs with the help of copilots. There are a lot of use cases you can think immediately on your toes when you look at this tool. And this is one of the reasons I believe that AI is not a fad. It is going to stay here and even if we face any AI winter which a lot of people are predicting, I think tools like this will keep popping up and will keep adding value to organizations horizontally and vertically. In this video, I'm just going to introduce you to this new tool which I stumbled upon courtesy to one of the viewer and friend Nadeem. So thanks Nadeem for um, pointing me to Flux, really looks good. First, you need to sign up to their website and you get a free credit to play around with it. And then I will show you what you can do with this tool. Now, once you sign up and log in, you'll be presented with this screen. This looks a bit scary, but to be honest, it's not. Now, if you are anything like me, I have no background in electronics. I'm not an electrical engineer, but I have always been fascinated by these circuit boards where you put in all those electronics devices on top of board, you uh, solder them and then you combine them and a lot of people are doing really cool things with it. Have you ever thought of creating your own electronics device like or maybe soldering or tinkering with the electronic boards like smartphones, computers, home entertainment, wearables, smart home, drones, auto devices, simple embedded devices, edge computing, network equipment, storage devices, displays, industrial sensing, robotics, medical devices, motor controllers, video equipment. So the list goes on and on and on. And um, just think about it. If you have ever thought of designing, building, or even tinkering with any existing printed circuit board, you have the manual, you have the data sheet, but you know that you need someone expert to guide you through the process of actually creating it and playing around with it. That is where this flux helps a lot. Now, what you can do here is you can simply go to this dashboard and from here, either you can start building your components from the left hand side if you are aware of electronics, but I'll be very honest, I have no idea about electronics uh, components and stuff. So instead of doing that, I'm just going to use their chatbot as you can see on the right hand side. So they have two options inspector or you can simply go with the chatbot where you can chat with this copilot. And this copilot is a fine tuned large language model. And there are a few of them. So they have something called as helper, they have a librarian, and then they have few other chatbots too, which are fine tuned on specific domain. So, but for the purpose of this video, we will be focusing on this Copilot, which comes with this uh, Flux.ai. Uh, Copilot is a Flux trained LLM that lives inside your project and can provide direct feedback to help you design faster, safer, and more complex printed circuit boards or PCBs. Copilot understands the full context of your project, including your list of components, their connect connections, and related part data sheets. This enables Copilot to respond with highly relevant information to help you select parts, provide feedback, and take action on your schematics to help you move faster. And there are a lot of things which you can uh, do with it. So here on the right hand side, you can see that there is a Copilot. They have also given me some of the examples. So let me ask it a question. Let me paste it here. So I'm asking it, I'm creating a PCB for a digital alarm clock that displays time and sounds alarm. Can you assist me with identifying necessary components for this project? And let me press uh, enter here. Wait. So there is no response there. I think the reason is because we need to tag it like this. So pilot and you see that when I'm Typing copilot, we can go with generalist, helper, or librarian. So, but I'm just going to go with the generalist one, the first one. Now let's press. There you go. Now copilot is thinking. Let's wait for it to come back. 
gonna take too long and there you go you can see that it has come out with a detailed uh, item by item description that i would need a microcontroller or mcu and what exactly it does with all the functionalities and buttons and then also the display and speaker buzzer crystal oscillator real-time clock module buttons power supply and the list goes on and on you can see a lot of stuff is there and then also it is even going beyond it is telling me about connectivity and then at then it is just giving me a starting point let me ask it go pilot can you draw a basic PCB for this alarm clock for let's see if it is able to draw it it is telling me that it is unable to create or display images directly from this text-based interface but it can guide me through and then it has given me more um, MCUs less such as the microcontroller with its power connected to this so maybe on the left hand side i'll just select uh, search for mcu now there are a lot of mcus i'm just going to ask copilot any specific mcu you would suggest is searching for it so let's wait for it to come back and it has given me some of the recommendations here on the right hand side as you can see that it is a willful maroon massive this is just for example my own a project name and these are few of the options here arduino uno and then esp32 maybe let's select the arduino uno i'm just going to search it here r so uno so maybe i'll just select this and then drag it See something just need to make it bigger there you go so i have dropped two of them okay so i'm not going to tease this a uh, bit more because i have no idea what i'm doing so but you can see that how easy it makes it to really build your pcbs with it so flux is based on three core principles promoting reusability fostering collaboration and keeping you focused reusability can amplify the impact of individuals and organization so you can leverage the work of others in the community by using templates modules or example projects from flux website which is awesome you can also build hardware often uh, with collaboration with your own teammates and you can reduce distractions and repetitive tasks uh, and that will keep you in the flow and that always brings out better results so all in all i think uh, an awesome tool for any pcb but more than that uh, for me i think this is simply um, a reason to stick with ai because you need to target these niches and then add value wherever you can find you don't have to go all in with all guns blazing to start tackling every issue there and ai is not just about you know the general chatbot Anyway, I will drop the link to this website in video description. Play around with it. Let me know how you go. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.